Welcome back to the Market Chef. It's Christmas, County Supplies Kitchen. Chef Ryan, welcome. It's good to be back, Rob. One for you here today, Ryan. Royal Oak Farm, fully organic, from your neck of the woods. Lancashire. You got it, Chef. Aye, aye. So I've got it for you today, Ryan, with some fresh celeriac and parsnips. You're going to love these. I mean, look at the freshness on that. I would never, ever think of anything but the best from you, mate. But wow, look at that. You've got wet dirt on there. And wet dirt says one thing to me as a chef, freshness. Fresh, they don't get any fresh in this. These guys, they would have been in the ground 15 hours ago. And today wow. they're in our kitchen, going to be on our plate. That's how fresh they are, Ryan. I can't wait to get cooking with them. So I've got you these, Ryan. So what are you going to whip up for us today? Well, Rob, I've got a beautiful dish for you and the guys watching. I've got a beautiful take on a classic kind of dolphin noir, creamy potato dish, but there's no potatoes in this. We've got these beautiful parsnips, celery out. We're going to get some sage, onion, that kind of stuffing vibe going. It's going to be a delicious Christmas treat for your table. I can't wait. Doesn't get much fresh in this. Let's get cooking. I love a cauliflower cheese, and if you do too, today I'm going to create a beautiful festive alternative using these fantastic ingredients. You know, the temperatures are dropping outside, the plants have died on the surface, it's hibernating for winter, and that only means one thing to me as a chef, sugars have gone below ground, and that's where we're going today. We've got some beautiful Lancashire parsnips, my home county. We've got some celeriac from the same farm in Ohmskirk. Absolutely beautiful. Grandma Singletons, which is a Lancashire, really strong mature cheddar. You can use any cheddar, but I prefer this for the dish. Some sea salt, sage, we've got some cream, some onion, and some breadcrumbs. And we're gonna create a beautiful sage and stuffing festive bake. So to get started with this dish, we wanna just, it couldn't be easy. Get yourself a bowl, straight into the parsnips. We're looking for some chunky, chunky bits of parsnip. Same with the celeriac straight into the bowl. You're probably looking for the celeriac to be a little bit thinner, and you're probably thinking, why is that? Well, the celeriac's gonna cook a little bit longer than the parsnip. So we're gonna have bigger, bigger pieces, but thinner, so it cooks around the same time. And you know what, with a bake as well, like the dolphin one, a cauliflower cheese, some gets crispy on the side, some gets a little bit soft, some stays a little bit crunchy. It's all exciting texture, so I really don't mind that. So get yourself a nice couple of parsnips. In this recipe, I think it's just about filling the bowl, dressing it in some cream, some breadcrumbs, some of the aromats, and filling that uh, urbanware dish and giving it a good old bake. So again, we'll go two more parsnips, one more bit of celeriac. Now I'm a really, really big fan of uh, stuffing. I was brought up on that um, original stuffing, which we probably won't talk about. But really, if you, if you look on the ingredients on here, you've got breadcrumbs, you've got onion, you've got some pepper, you've got some sage and some other herbs. So we're gonna replicate the classic flavor that we all know. So we've got all those sweet root vegetables in there, the celeriac, the beautiful uh, parsnip. And you can really feel when I was cutting those parsnips how firm they were. Really good sign of freshness as well, that pungent kind of fresh, almost like celeriac, celery flavor. Again, with the sweetness of a carrot, it kind of had it all going on, really. Absolute pleasure to be working with ingredients this good. So, a little bit of onion, it's just gonna add a little bit of savouriness to the dish. Really important, just to balance all those sweet, sweet notes in the celeriac. And also get that nice kind of savouriness that you expect from a good stuffing. Throw it all in. As, guys, I said this would be easy. It's meant to be easy. We're gonna go in there with a little bit of salt. Season the dish. So now to bring all the dish together, we've got a little bit of salt in there. We've got our parsnip, celeriac and onion. We've got our salt in there also. We're gonna go with some cream. How much cream? We're looking really just to give a real good dressing to the parsnip, onions and celeriac because you're gonna get all that juice. All that juice is gonna come out. We're gonna slow cook at about 160 degrees for about 45 minutes that juice is gonna come out as it roasts and that's gonna to add to the cream and the richness. So with some savory herbs. Again, classic herbs that you have are parsley, sage, and you just wanna rip that up. I really love sage. It's really got a savoriness that reminds me that it should only be about in winter. You can have a little bit of lemon and sage with your chicken in the summer, but nothing really speaks winter like the aromat and savoriness of sage. I think that's, you know, the nostalgic moment that I get from stuffing. You know, you really can have it all year, but at Christmas, it really makes a difference on the table. Beautiful time. Again, savory, just backing up those savory notes. 
And how much? Well, it depends how much you like sage. You can go all out with herbs, unless you're putting a whole bunch in there, which will cause problems. You can really just go really, really big. And then we're gonna get some cheddar. As I said, Lancashire parsnips, Lancashire celeriac. Why not go with a Lancashire cheese? So we've got Grandma Singleton's here. Really nice, but you know, you can use any cheese really. Cheddar, Cheshire, you could use a Gouda, but I wanna keep it all English, you know. We are an English market chef after all. So nice mature cheddar goes in there. And then some breadcrumbs. I like to toast my breadcrumbs, so you could use regular breadcrumbs from the supermarket. If you've got stale bread, just blitz them up, dry them out, and then toast them in a pan. And then just this is gonna add, you can see as well, straight down directly, it's got that stuffing moment already. And all we're gonna do is just bring it together. So now it's time to get this bad boy in the oven. So a nice urban wear dish. And again, you go quite shallow, you can go quite deep. It's gonna have a little bit of um, consequence when it comes to cooking, but again, 160, and we're looking for that tender spike with a knife. So let's give this a little mix. Just a gentle mix, and then in we go. Just tease it all into the dish. Like that, look at that, creamy, delicious parsnips. A beautiful kind of opaque sage really got a nice gentle tone. It smells so rich, I wish you could smell this. Pop that over there. And we finish with a few more breadcrumbs. Again, just let it fall over the top. It's gonna to soak up some of the juices. It'll be absolutely delicious. Some more salt. And then we're gonna finish with the cheese. I like to go mad with the cheese, get that nice crunchy top on it. Nice big chunks here and there. Like I said, that cauliflower cheese alternative all different textures, the soft bit, the chunky bit. I think, you know, as gnarly and as mixed up as it can be, just like the roast potatoes, who gets the good ones, who gets the rubbish ones, or are they all good? Like this is a dish that will be at my Christmas table. Absolutely beautiful. So there we have it. Omskirk parsnips and celeriac with uh, sage and onion breadcrumbs. Let's get this bad boy in the oven. And I'll see you in 45 minutes. Right, Rob, get yourself over here, mate. Christmas time is here. Look at that. That is a bake of dreams. So I'm not a lover of cauliflower cheese, as the family know, but this looks and smells superb. Well, you took in, I'll tell you a little bit about it. So you've got that creamy texture, that cauliflower cheese, you know, the consistency of a stuffing with all those flavors in there. Onion, sage, the thyme, all working together with the sweetness. Mm. And then with the kind of acidity and crunch of that cheddar breadcrumb on top. For me, this will stand next to the turkey any day or even alone. Such a fantastic dish. So that breadcrumb really gives it that like stuffing feel, you know, like the old stuff yeah, your yeah. mum used to make. Yeah. And that parsnip and the creaminess in your mouth, it just, uh, I definitely think that's going to be on our Christmas table this Christmas. So Ryan, thanks for coming down to the Market Chef, cooking this amazing dish for us today. You're very welcome. Merry Christmas from everybody at County Supplies and the Market Chef.